Well, hello, all my fluid art friends. I'm saying this for the second time because my computer did not have the right stream key in it. So, I was saying hello to everybody till I noticed that I wasn't live on my other screen. That's why I keep that other screen up over there. So, let me say hello to everybody. Well, hello, Miss Shannon. Let's give it up for my moderator. Woohoo! I love you, Shannon. You're great. And then, let's see. I see Susan. I see Linda T. I see Linda S., a.k.a. Sophia Loren. I see Susan. I see Sweet Gail. I see Evelyn. I see Rochelle. I see Mona. Um, I think I've seen Deidre in there. Hello, Megan. Uh, oh, I think I got everybody. I'm not sure. So, if I didn't, just type in all caps, me. Oh, hi, Joy E. There you are. I knew I was forgetting somebody. Okay. For, I promise you guys I'd show you these. Okay. This is, let me bring it down some. This is, you can't see it. It's the, it's the greenish one of the, um, I can't remember now which one it was, of the, um, of the TLPs. I think I need to either do a different black or put more pigment in there. So this was the green one. Um, see, you can just see a little bit of green. Okay, that was that one. And now, here is the blue one. I think this is the, well, no, this is the purplish one. This one you can see a little bit more purple in it. So I'm going to have to rethink my little formula. I was being stingy with the pigment powder is what it is. Because it's so expensive. So this one's got a little bit of purple in it. And then I got more blue than any, in, than any of the other ones. And here is the round one. It's got the blue. So, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to rethink my formula. It's still pretty. I mean, you can still see petals and everything. But, let's see. Did somebody show up that I did, missed? Well, hello, Kim. Nice to see you. Okay. So, tonight's video... I'm going to do two of them, but I only got one cloud pour cup. This is the cloud pour cup that I got from Tracy Reed. I linked her Etsy shop down below. Um, I used about, um, Evelyn, I used about maybe, um, hang on, I wrote it on the bottle. Okay, on a little scale, I had put... 0 0.165 of the powder and then I put 0.17 of the Joe Sonia gloss to get it wet and then I added three ounces of the pouring medium and that's basically how I mixed all of them I'm just going to have to do a little bit more um, powder I think seeing if anybody new showed up I don't want to miss anybody so anyway this is Tracy Reed's cloud pour cup now it's kind of hard to see it because it's dark in there let me see if I can no that's not gonna... <laughs> okay there's a little divider it goes from the point of this to the point of that okay and I'm gonna fill it right here so what I'm gonna do is this is my uh, cloud pour but it's not my recipe because I've never done a cloud pour before. This is Tracy Reed's recipe because she got such pretty stuff. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is, is I'm only going to put it in one side. You can put it in both sides of, if you want, but I'm only going to put it in one side. Okay, there's my cloud pour mix if you can see that in there see how it see it didn't well it's starting to creep over the divider because I got it too high and I think I'm going to put this um 
which one is this? This is the Lucas Krill Turquoise, okay? And I'm going to put that in the other side very slowly because uh, I watched her videos all day where she's using this cup. She's got quite a few of them. That's why I linked her channel down below. Um, she says that each side holds about a tablespoon of paint. And I'm not sure how much this holds, um, but the whole thing together holds six cups. Okay, now, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just layer my paints in there. That's all you have to do is layer your paints in this back side. Uh, let me do the Prussian blue. Of course, you know I got to use Prussian blue. If anybody knows me, I love that color. It rem the Prussian blue kind of reminds me of a brand new pair of jeans that hasn't been um, um, that hasn't been um, uh, washed or worn yet. Hello, Jackie. Thank you. I'm glad. Well, I hope that it turns out good. Oh, well, okay. Um, it is kind of. See, I have to tilt it for you to see it for the light to hit it. So, all I can do is just keep pouring until you see it. That was um, primary magenta, and this one is the Deco Art Metallic, which is the ice blue and then of course the uh, dark blue was the Prussian blue and the other one was the Lucas Krill turquoise okay I think I'm going to be able to do about two layers of each color in here so let me put some more turquoise in there I have never done a cloud pour but I watched all her videos and I did notice that she does a ring pour with it, so we'll see how that turns out. Oh, thank you very much, Shannon. Yes, and I also linked her channel down below because she's got a few um, of these, and she's got two different recipes, but I'm going with her latest recipe that she has. Okay, now my magenta. Now, this is only a 10 by 10, so I wasn't figuring on filling up the whole cup. Okay, there's my magenta. And then my metallic ice blue from DecoArt. Okay, that looks like enough. Okay, let me put that back there. Let me put that back there. I don't know. The other cup that I have is just a split cup. And I don't know if I'm going to put any of the cloud pour in there or not. Okay. Oh, see, Evelyn can see inside the cup fine. Um, but I'm going to hold it up so you can see the pearl over here, which the recipe's down below in the, des in the description. That is the Lucas Curl Turquoise, and then I layered all four of the colors over there. Okay, now let me get this straight. Okay. And I'm sitting down a lot tonight because my foot is killing me. I'm not going to give you my trials and tribulations of today. Let's just say my car has it out for me. Or the mechanics have it out for me. I don't know which. But anyway, enough of my problems. Okay. So I see some blue. There's some red. Still don't see the white. There's some turquoise. Ah, there's the white. And then the Prussian blue and some metallics. There we go. I kind of figured this would be more than enough paint for this little 10 by 10. Okay. Okay, now let me see if I can do a good dismount. Oh! <laughs> I suck at a dismount with the cup. Oh well. Well, let me just put it upside down so it drains. Oh well. Okay. Torch this little baby. I can already see it turning into clouds. 
Brian will be pleased about what? Um, oh, I used a Brian. Oh, okay. Now I see what you said Brian would be pleased about. Okay. Let me pop any air bubbles. See, I didn't want the cloud to take over the whole thing. I wanted to keep a little bit of the paint. And I'm going to tilt slowly. Because, see, I'm losing that dark blue. But I have so much paint on here, I really did not need a flow extender. Okay, let me... Let me take it off of that side. I don't really need to pinch the corner. Take it off of that side. Bring it back to the middle. Now take it off over here. Oops, I didn't get it off of the side over there. So let me just go straight off the side. Now, <laughs> see, I'm afraid of losing all my clouds. That's why I'm afraid to go too far. There we go. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to bring it this way to this corner. Okay. See, I'm still losing a lot of the color. Okay, so now slowly, I don't, I don't want to lose too much of the color and I don't want the cloud to take over the whole thing, but it looks like it's almost doing that anyway. This cloud mix can be real bossy. It's got to be the star of the show. Okay. I'm trying to inch it over here because I don't want to lose too much of the color. But look at that cloud mix just trying to take over the whole thing. Come on. Oops. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Now I'm going to take it over here. I'm going to lose a lot of that red. Uh, I guess it wouldn't hurt to take some of the cloud mix off over there. Okay, let me turn it. I still want to get it off of this edge, but I don't want to lose too much of that and have the cloud mix just overcloud it. Okay, here we go. Oops. See? Oh, that paint. I got a lot of paint on here. That paint's moving fast. So let me take a little bit of the cloud mix off that way. Now, yeah, it's not moving as fast. Come on. Oh. Sacrificing a lot of those pretty lines because I got so much paint on here. Come on. I did not want to lose all that blue, but it looks like I'm sacrificing it. Okay. This thing's giving me a workout. Let's see. Oh, hail Brian, and hello Deb, and hello Jeff B, and hello Kelly. Looking to see if I'm missing anybody else. Okay, been concentrating on keeping these. I want to keep these lines, but when I tilt this way to cover the edge, the lines just want to go right off. Come on. Okay, I may have to just, wait a minute, let me open that area back up. 
I think I'm just going to have to use my drippings to fill in these little sides. Because I really don't want to tilt too much more. Okay. Paper towels. Yeah, I should have, Linda. This is my very, very first cloud pour, okay? <laughs> I don't know how the paints are, and it's uh, not even my recipe, but I figured if Tracy Reed got some good stuff with her recipe, I'm going to try it too. More paint. Um, I don't know if I want to. Um, let me let me see about fixing fixing this side right here with a couple of drippings to match. Okay, that looks good over there. Okay, let me find some color down here that matches this corner. A little dark but it'll do I wonder if I should do yep yep exactly Jeff you always arrive exactly when you meant to Oh, okay. Okay, let me. I still got a lot of paint on there, so I don't know if I want to pour more paint on there, you know. It's moving a little bit. And I see, I see a booger in my paint. There, I said it, Linda. Linda T. actually got chewed out one time for saying the word booger in the chat. It's like a bunch of little snowflakes. Okay, I know I saw you. Now i got to stand up to see this. There you are. There you are right there. I think it was a booger. I got all my sides and corners covered. Let me torch it once. Let me see how it looks. Because I have other colors mixed and I was going to do a split cup on a 10 by 10. see some drips trying to pull my paint off okay well I'm looking at it I'm very happy I got the cloud effect not not a whole but touch up the upper right corner uh, upper right this one well, let me turn it my direction so I can see it. Ah, oh, thank you. I didn't see that. Okay. Now I got a problem. I got dark blue all over my finger. And I want to put some light blue there. I did not see that. Thank you so much, Kim. Okay, got that corner. Aha. Here's a little teeny tiny spot right here at the bottom. You know those little tiny humps? Well, hello, Kathy. Nice to see you. If that's the worst thing you say to be surprised, Linda T. Oh. Okay. What, are you guys surprising her? <sighs> stuck. My gloves stuck together. Well, let me bring this little guy up. It's a guy. It's all blue. It's a guy. I lost my magenta completely. But I got my clouds. I do like the effects. 
So I think I think if I'm going to do that again with that cup, I'm going to have to do a bigger canvas. But those are pretty clouds. It got all cloudy, and then it got all stormy over here with the uh with the dark rings. Okay, let me put this little baby to bed. And I've done wiped its bottom and burped it with the torch. Got rid of all the bubbles. That's what you're doing to your painting when you when you um torch it, you're burping all the bubbles out. Oh, thank you, Kim. Yes, he is the oh the booger conversation. Yeah. I'm sorry I had to bring it up. Thank you, Lori. And oh and hi Lori, I missed you earlier. Uh, your language is so colorful you should wear a black patch <laughs> well you don't want to know what mine is okay now I'm not going to have another puppy pad to put down so I'm just going to have to clean this off as best I can uh, take off my I got Liquitex pouring medium in this with some GAC 800 and I wonder if that's why my gloves feel so sticky. They feel even stickier um, than if, if I was using glue. Okay, canvas. There's my canvas. Oh. Okay. Okay. Now, here is my cup. I forgot to put the link to his website but I get some of these cups from paint pour store because they got handles okay and I don't know where I can let me see yeah you can see it right there let me move my canvas over so I don't accidentally spill on my canvas okay first up I have got deco art dazzling metallics but this is the Peacock Pearl, and I forgot what size this cup is, but I'm only going to fill them up halfway, because I don't think I need that much paint. Okay, next I am doing, uh, what, what is this one? Oh, Cobalt Blue Ultra by Amsterdam. I mixed these earlier today. Probably should have covered them because it seems like they got a little thick. But we'll deal with it. Okay, halfway up. Yep, that looks good. Okay, now I have got Amsterdam's. Oh, hi, Christina. Hey, Christina, I talked to somebody today, and I wanted to tell you what she said. So can I give you, I, I promise it won't be that long, but can I give you a quick phone call after my live? Because we were talking about it the other day, and... I wanted to tell you what she said. So, thank you, thank you. Well, it'll probably be about five, ten minutes after I shut off the camera. Okay, that was Amsterdam Turquoise Blue. This one is Green Thallo, or Thallo Green. How do you, yeah, Thallo Green, duh. And I think, I think I'm going to add, I think I'm going to add this one on the out, well, I think I'm going to add the magenta instead of the cloud pour, because I'm afraid of, yeah, <laughs> well, okay, we have had some quick ones, we've kept them to just a little over an hour. Oh, who are you going to call? You're not going to call me, Brian. You never call me. 
Okay, I'm going to put magenta in this one. Because I want to pop a contrast. And then I'll put the thalo green. I hope the thalo green works next to the... Uh, <laughs> What, what, what's your all's, um, oh, he, he meant Christina, okay. God, my hands are so sticky. Baby wipe. I need a wet baby wipe. Um, oh. I won't keep her on the phone long, Brian. I just want to tell her what somebody said today to me on the phone. And not one person here talked to me on the phone, so they know I'm not going to repeat something they said. But it was like a little shocking. Okay. Okay. I hope this works next to the magenta. What do you all think? I mean, it's not a red. It's a magenta. <sighs> Shoot! Everything's sticking to my hand. Now... I need to go back here and put a little bit more of this in because it's a little bit lower than the rest. Okay. Now, I'm not going to pull out my turntable. And I'm not, I'm not going to put gloves on until I do this. But I think I'm going to do a traveling ring pour with this just to see how it looks. So... Come on, magenta. Come on, cobalt blue. Mm, I see a little bit of the magenta. Do bigger rings, maybe that, yeah, that'll open it up a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to go this way. think I got the paint. Yep, see, it's closing up. There we go. That's what I wanted it to do. Okay. And I'm kind of making weird rings right there. Okay, let me put a little bit of it here. A little bit of it here to cover my corner, a little bit of it here to cover this corner, a little bit of it here to cover this corner. Mm, you still didn't cover that corner. Okay, um, that looks like about the end of it. So let me set it there to drain, uh, clean my hands and put some gloves on. Uh, oh. Linda singing again. And I remember that song, too. I would sing it, but I don't want to get a copyright infringement for um, singing a, a, a copyrighted song. Okay. Let me put some baby powder on. So, Oh, I got gloves up here. Darn it. I pull out the X. Yeah, I know. I'm hoping more of that magenta shows up. When I stretch it. Okay. Well, you know what? The turquoise, the Amsterdam turquoise green and the, um, daz the peacock, uh, pearl dazzling metallic by Deco Art, they're pretty, they're pretty close in shade. Yeah, exactly. Billy Preston. Um, shoot, I'm trying to read the chat. He's anti, who's anti-social? Okay, now, oh, air bubbles, air bubbles. Okay, I know first thing I want to do is I want to get some of it to come this way. Okay, there we go. Now, 
let me turn it around. Sore feet, so I'm trying to sit for most of this. Oh, I do have a foot appointment Thursday, so I will be getting my little feetsies taken care of then. Okay, stretch that out that way. Take it back to the middle. Okay, uh, I'm going to go this way first because I want this to stretch out really, really far. So, let's see now. Okay, off the corner. Ooh, I'm going to tell you something. That dazzling metallic in there is pretty. It is so shimmery. Who knew craft paint could look so good? I know, it's kind of the high-end craft paint, really. There we go. I needed it to cover that spot. Now, let me cover this one a little bit before I start taking the paint back the other way. This way. Okay. Okay. Need a, I need some of it to come off of this side that's right closest to me, too. So let me walk it a little bit that way. There we go. And now, let's do the side in the corner at the same time. Come on, paint. Everybody work together. Ah, got that one little hump right there that didn't get any paint. Put a little bit of paint there to kind of drag that down. Ah, my corner. Okay, let me check my other side. I do love it. I do love it. So I guess the magenta and the thalo green play good together. because they were right next to each other. Okay. Now, let me see how much paint I may still have left on it. Ah, oh, it's moving. It's moving. It's alive. I don't want to leave too much paint on there, even though I do have GAC 800 in the pouring medium. If you look down below, um... If you look down below in the description, it's Tracy Reed's recipe, because I wanted to do that in the cloud pour, and then I wanted to do that in this other cup, but I didn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to do cloud pour or not. So, okay. See, it's still moving, I think, too fast. Let me see. Yeah. Well, I can put a box over it and get it to dry real slow. I know most of you don't like your paintings drying real slow, but that's the best way to do that when you got thick paint like this and you know you got a lot on there. If you let it dry slow, it won't crack. Okay, let me wipe off my gloves. Uh, thank you, guys. <laughs> um, you know what? Talk to Brian. Tell Brian. <laughs> I'm willing to do that with him every now and then if he wants to. Oh! No, it's not software, Brian. It's just a website you sign up for. Okay? All you do is you go to StreamYards and you create an account and you can do a free account 
Uh, hi, Joanne. Long time no see. And Brian, it's a free account. You get 20 hours a month free, and you're always going to have that duck in the corner, that duck logo for StreamYards. But hey, you know, didn't bother you last night that it was over. You did it. Oh, dying, dying, dying. Okay. I like the composition. So, let me bring this guy up for a close-up. No, you don't need OBS for that. Okay. I think you can see the shimmer in that um, um, peacock pearl. I always try to make sure that I clear that square in the corner so you can see all of the edge. Still got my edges. I still got to wipe a little bit. This is my favorite part right here. These lines. That is so cool with that magenta right next to the phthalo green. I am pretty damn pleased about this. Yes, I said the word damn, but you know what? They say it on network TV, so it's not a bad word anymore. <laughs> um, it's not anymore. It's not the seven, seven deadliest words at FCC. Or I forgot what George, the seven words that George Carlin said you could never say on TV. So I'm going to say I'm happy with this. Oh, look at that. I got two paintings done in 40 minutes. Um, yes, it is, Evelyn. Thank you, Deidre. Um, thank you, Rochelle. Uh, okay, what's that What's that for, Brian? The Shiite? Or sh I'm not going to say it. Um, thank you, Jackie. Uh... Oh, well, oh, hi, Lisa. Lisa, nice to see you, honey. Nice to see you. Um, yeah, they can go ahead and call it that. I don't care. It's going to be a traveling ring pour to me, or wandering ring pour. So, I will make sure Saturday when I go live that I show these on at the beginning of the live and let me finish what i'm doing right oh shoot i just uh let me see can i fix that with a little bit of paint i just dragged my fingertip right through the edge right there and eh, i camouflaged it and for those of you that came in a little late uh yeah brian's awesome toy shop that is that is so correct. It's just he doesn't make the cups anymore, so I have to go elsewhere for the cups. Well, I'll be honest, Brian. I also wanted to try out some of these sticks that she makes. Because I'm getting tired of throwing away my wooden ones. Oh, thank you so much, Gail. Okay, for those of you that came in late, now that I don't have any paint on my hands, this was the... Greenish blue, I think, or blue, or gr bluish green, but see, you can't see it that much. So, like I said earlier, I'm gonna need to uh, need to rethink either not using so much black, use a different black that's not as opaque, or add more pigment. Okay, so this is the one that's got the little bit of greenish tint to it, and then. This is the one that's got the kind of purplish, bluish purplish. Yeah, when you hold it one way, it looks purple, and you hold it another way, and it looks blue. Um, that's what happens with interference colors. So, I, yeah, there we go. I'm trying to see if I can get it to catch the light. Great effects. I love the effects I got with the uh, with the pearl. 
It's just, that isn't what I was going for. I was going for the color from the interference. Now the blue stands out the most. See, the blue definitely stands out. I'm looking at my TV screen behind my laptop and it's a little bit brighter than my laptop screen so you can see the blue a little bit better in here i love those effects around the edge oh that is just so pretty i just gotta tweak my formula for how much interference powder i put in there and i might get some of the tlps that are not interference okay well Thank you, Kathy. Uh, and their fails, we're all learning. Yes, yes. Um, this was, um, okay, those of you that came in a little, little late and didn't see the first one, I will bring the first one back real quick for you guys. I didn't see it. This is the one that's got the actual cloud pour mix in it, okay? So I did get some clouds, not as much as Tracy gets, but I didn't want a whole lot of clouds. Um, so tra I used Tracy Reed's cup, which you can find in her Etsy shop. And I also used her pouring medium and her cloud recipe mix. So, um, Oh, hi, Shelly. I didn't see you come in. Ah, people sneak in late. So this was my cloud pour, which I did first. And then this is my uh, wandering ring pour with a split cup. That I really, really love how it turned out. And it's just about dry. And you were right, Brian. Some of the white did sink. Or somebody told me that last night. Some of the white did sink. See. I got one whole spot right here that has no paint. And I sh it should have color. So I may have to pull out the colors and kind of touch it up a little bit there. Um, but that was my first decent reverse swipe. And... Brian did really good on his flower last night for not having a napkin and having a piece of paper. Or or was that like a, I don't know, what was that you used last night? Was it a like a paper tablecloth? Now this one, I unfortunately dropped something in it over here. So it's hard to see it, but there is some little lumps and bumps. Something fell off the shelf right here on the painting. So, but this is my flower from last night. So, and, oh, it was packing tissue. Okay, I didn't think of that. Okay. Um, I will try to send you some of the napkins. Christina ordered some napkins, I think. And maybe you can buy uh, uh, some of hers. The big 17 by 17s. Because those smaller ones only work on 10 by 10s or, or smaller, really. Okay, I'm going to let everybody go. Let me see. This is Tuesday. Uh, what's coming up later this week is I know Julie will probably do a fast forward Friday night on Friday. I'll go live Saturday, but before me, Moose will go live. I still don't know if Fiona's going live. And then Sunday. Sunday is an exciting day. We've got Brian's auction. Woohoo! Woohoo! Uh, yeah, exactly, Linda. He was not a dumbass. He, 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 did, he was brave. Trying something for the first time on live TV like I did tonight. So we got um, Brian's Auction Sunday. Um, Saturday, I can't say Fiona's going live at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern, but I know that, um, um, what is that? Um, I go live at 7 p.m. Eastern. Moose goes live at 6 p.m. Eastern. 
and then Sunday is Brian's auction in place of his live. And then Monday night, we get to see, I hope, Christina. And if Christina and Alan still don't feel up to it, maybe I can give Brian a quick lesson on how to work stream yards, and we'll go live in the Porog's Posse time slot from his computer. <laughs> anyway, you guys have a... Um, um, oh, thank you so much, Lisa. Um... Oh, thank you, Evelyn. I'm glad. Hey, even though I didn't really know what I was doing, I'm glad that you could learn something from what I was doing. Because I later on, I might do this as a recorded. I got another cup from um, the paint pour store. Just wanted to see how this worked. Um, so you guys have a wonderful week. Um... I'm going to be sitting at home every day until the 16th till my car goes back in the shop again. I just had it in the shop this morning, and it's still not fixed. So, you guys have a great week. I will see you, uh, I guess, uh, Saturday would be the next live I'll see you at. I'll see you at Moose's and mine. Enjoy yourselves. Thank you for coming out. Y'all are awesome. You're my viewers of awesomeness. Uh, oh, the split cup tonight was uh, a, uh, let me see if I can do this without dripping, was a five chamber one with a handle that I got from Paint Pour Store. And let me see if I can do this without dripping this too. Um, and this was Tracy Reed's um, um, cloud pour cup. Cause I've been I was studying her videos today. Okay. Good night, everybody. I'm gonna call you in about three minutes, Christina. Y'all have a great week. All I can say to my viewers is awesome. Viewers of awesomeness is bye for now.